<laughs> and then I'll do this when you have one minute left. Okay. Hi everybody, my name is Alina and I'm fascinated with psychology of brain and how human behavior works. And today I'm here to tell you that every single one of you can be happy without changing their life. So if you're stressed or tired sometimes, would you please raise your hand? Now look around and see how many of you are in the same boat. And we're not the only ones. Everyone feels tired, feels stressed, and sometimes unhappy. And because of that, I am here to let you know and show you three tools how you can be happy without changing your life. So we are so busy that we don't notice any small happy moments in our lives. And that's where we concentrate only on something that's happening bad to us. And I'll give you some examples from my life that makes me happy. So once a month, I take my daughters to Barnes & Noble's bookstore, and we look at, at books, we look at pens, we look at everything we can, we buy some stuff, some books to bring home, and then we get some uh, Starbucks coffee and some sweets, and we talk about books. Another thing that makes me happy is having 30 minutes Sunday mornings with my husband alone to drink some coffee and talk about nothing and everything. That makes me happy. It makes me happy to have my son who starts to use complex words and use his college knowledge and shows me that he's a grown up man who is a college student. It makes me happy to talk to my mom and read my books. And these are just few, few moments and just few events in my life that make me happy and I never appreciated them like last week. I always wanted to see northern lights, and last week we had northern lights in our backyard at my house. I remember planning a trip for that, and it didn't work, so we didn't go. And I was thinking how much I would like to take my family there, my husband, and have a kiss with him under the northern lights. And it happened last week on, in my backyard. That made me so happy. And I went in the house and took my journal up and I started to write down how I feel, what I feel, my emotions. And then I decided to read through my journal. And as I was reading, I saw how many happy small moments in my life actually happen that I don't see. I don't see because I'm busy and I'm juggling my job and I go to college and I have my family. I never paid attention to what made me happy. And as I was looking for my journal, I saw a sad moment. My grandma passed away. I felt sad and I felt guilty. Guilty because my grandma always asked about me and my family, yet I didn't call. I didn't call her enough. And I felt guilty because I robbed her of the appreciation she deserved. So today I'm here to show you that our mind makes us concentrate on what we're busy we're running and we're stressed and we're not happy and we failed and everyone is pointing at us and thinking only about us, of course. But in reality, it's not like that. In reality, the three tools you can use today to be happy, to see that you are happy in reality, are just this. It's a pen, a notebook, and a calendar. Take your notebook and your pen and write down how you felt in the past month when you were happy, just smile. Maybe you had coffee with your mom. Maybe you just talked to your friend. Maybe you finished an assessment or an assignment for college that you really, really wanted to finish and you were scared. Maybe you helped someone or maybe someone helped you. Write that down and do that every single day. And then take your calendar and look for your notes and think, if today is the sixth, maybe on the 10th, I can go with my friends and have coffee. Maybe I didn't call this week my mom and I can call her to make her happy. Maybe I can do something else. And I promise you that when you feel sad or you feel like you've failed something or maybe you don't have the power to walk through your life, you take that notebook and you just look through your notes. You read them and then you'll feel energetic. You'll feel happy and you'll want to do again the same things that make you happy. You will schedule your happiness. Mm -hmm. So today I talked to you about how small things in our life makes us happy, but we don't notice them. About the sorrow of losing dear people, but we, and the guilt that we don't appreciate them enough. Now about three things that will make you feel happy without changing your life.
It's a notebook, a calendar, and a pen. Please take the first step today to uh, be happy. Thank you. Thank you, Alina.